I get asked all the time, especially during this Christmas season, what are the best PC parts? How much can I spend? And what is the best bang for my buck? So in this video, we're gonna go over all the way from a thousand dollars budget all the way to unlimited budget for the best PC parts that you could buy for gaming and to play any games at the competitive level. So without further ado, let's get right into the first few builds. So the first build is gonna be a thousand dollar budget and it's gonna be the Ryzen 5 7600X3D build. And the only way to get a 7600X3D is to buy the bundle in Micro Center. Alternatively, you could just get the 7600X, but the 7600X3D is going to yield you a lot better results just because of the X3D cache. So try to get the 7600X3D. Now we're going to go to the $1,000 build for Intel. And if you're able to snatch this, you are going to get way more performance compared to the AMD 7600X3D build or the 7600X, just because this is, has an i7, which is an eight core CPU versus a six core. So as you guys can see, this is around $1,300, pretty good price for what you're getting. You're getting DDR5 at 7,200CL34 with a pretty decent motherboard that is capable of running at that speed because i've verified it and a fast nvme ssd with a 4060 ti alternatively you can just ditch out the graphics card completely in both of these builds and then just use your current one if it's good enough or you can just go on the used market and grab a 3080 for 400 instead of buying a 4060 ti for 400 that's gonna be pretty much it for the thousand dollar is i'm gonna head over to the 1500 budget and show you guys the builds there so for the first one we got 7600 x3d 7800 x3d 6000 megahertz of cl30 ram and of course a 47 and this comes around to $1,550. Counting for taxes, this does go a little bit over. But again, as I said earlier, if you're just playing games that are CPU intensive mostly, you could just completely not buy a new graphics card. You could just keep your current graphics card and then just plug it into this build and then boom, you save $540. However, if you don't have a graphics card, 4070 is great. Or we cut it down to a 3080 from the used market going around for a very decent price of $400. For $1,500, you could get a nasty, insane Intel build, as you guys can see right here, an i7 with the best overclocking motherboard on 48 gigabytes of ram and with this motherboard at the same exact ram speed which is 7200 you can overclock this speed all the way to 8400 i've done with a client earlier this week just get insane performance just from overclocking now this does come into account that you have to pay for overclocking services or you do have to learn how to overclock on your own which takes a very long time or it's just added cost to the budget but as you guys can see this is 1576 dollars for guaranteed maximum fps in any game that you throw at this this i would pick over the 7800 x3d just because with overclocking potential this does insane numbers in any game that you throw at it so this is definitely my pick however both are going to get crazy frame rate and you're going to get whatever fps that you want in most games like fortnite valorant and call of duty these are going to suffer a little bit because of the graphics cards at 4070 but if you're playing at 1080p this is more than enough and you're going to get crazy frames if you're on a 1080p monitor we're going to go to the two thousand dollar budget and as you guys can see all we did is just keep everything mostly the same for the 7800 x3d we just boosted up the motherboard to a better one one, and then we just boosted up the SSD to a two terabyte with a heatsink, and then we just upgraded the graphics card to a 4070 Ti Super, as you can see. Other than that, everything else stays the same because it's completely fine. Now, again, as I keep saying with these builds, you don't have to buy a new graphics card if you're just playing games like Fortnite and Valorant and some of these low graphic games. You could just reuse your current one, like a 30 series graphics card or a 2080 or around those lines. You could just keep that. You don't have to pay for a new graphics card if you wanted to. The option is there. For the Intel build, this is again same thing as the i7 build. You're gonna get crazy performance. However, if you just don't want to overclock and you just want to turn on XMP and play your games, this is a great build because 8200 megahertz at 48 gigabytes. I just want to make that clear. This motherboard is specifically for 48 gigabytes. If you try to get 32 gigabytes on this motherboard, you're going to be maxing out at 7800 and that is with overclocking. So on XMP, I have no idea what this motherboard does on 32 gigabytes, probably maximum of 7200 on XMP. However, if you want to just have a hassle free experience, just buy 48 gigabytes on this motherboard. The reason for that is just because 48 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes to DR5 are completely different versions of ddr5 we're not going to get into that but pretty much just try to avoid 32 gigabytes on the z790i lightning if you'd want to get 32 gigabytes then you have to switch the motherboard to a different one but as you guys can see this is two thousand dollars you can get a 4070 ti and an i9 and 8200 megahertz cl38 memory which is blazing fast any game that you throw at this is going to be insane and with a thousand watt power supply in case you want to update the graphics card in the future now we're going to go pretty much into the 2500 dollars budget and as you guys can see same principle same stuff pretty much all i did was just step up the graphics card and step up the power supply i made the case a little bit better now from a 4070 ti we went up to a 4080 super so you're going to be able to play 1440p and even 4k with no issues whatsoever on this pc and as you guys can see we have a 1600 watt power supply so it's very overkill but if you wanted to upgrade to a 5090 then you can do that without any trouble now the next budget is going to be the unlimited budget and as you guys can see we have the 9800 x3d which should be at 480 dollars but for now it's just going to be at 800 dollars but keep in mind that this cpu 
CPU is supposed to be at 480. It's just not in stock as the, the time of recording. Now we kept the Lian Li Galahad Trinity Performance CPU cooler because that's pretty much the best CPU cooler on the market as of right now. And we added the X870E-E Gaming Wi-Fi ATX motherboard, which this motherboard is very overkill for this sort of build. But whenever you have unlimited budget and you're going AMD, you might as well just get one of the best motherboards. And as you guys can see, we have 6,000 megahertz, 28, which is a slightly lower latency compared to the other memory sticks that I was using in the previous builds, which was CL30. This one's going to be better latency out of the box if you turn on XMP. And if you decide to overclock it, you're going to get better overclocking out of this kit just because it's already tight from the beginning. But as you guys can see, we have a 990 Pro with a heatsink at two terabytes, which is insane. And we have a 4090, of course. Now you could step up your game and get the highest end 4090. However, you'd be paying a thousand more dollars for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Most 4090s perform exactly the same thing on stock. However, if you do decide to overclock them, you might get different results. For this type of video, I'm just going to keep it simple and just give you guys a 4090 that's going to get the job done and give you the 4090 performance. So this exact build is going to play literally any game. If there's a game that has trouble playing, I don't know what you're doing. You're just doing something completely wrong. But as you guys can see, we got the height ATX case, which I've used in a customer's PC build. As you guys can see right here, this was an i9 PC and a 4090 Strix gaming OC. It was a very cool looking build, but again, there is a tax on this case. It's around $200, which is insane. It's worth it if you're going to go all out on an AMD build and make it look cool and all that stuff. Now we're going to go to the unlimited budget for Intel. We threw in the i9 1400KS. It's a little bit of a waste of money for $200, but if you have unlimited money, you're going to pretty much just spend your money all in these parts and just get the best out of the box. But as you guys can see, RAM in this build. And the reason for that is just because whenever you have unlimited money, you can buy whatever you want. So 8400 is pretty much one of the fastest that you could buy and it should work on XMP on this motherboard. I'm not 100% certain. Doing any tuning without doing any voltage changes, 8400 might work on this motherboard without any issues. However, if you don't have an unlimited budget, then you might as well just get this overclocked and get the max performance out of it. But as you guys can see, same principle as the AMD 9800X3D build. We kept everything almost the same. Only the things that we changed were the motherboard, RAM, and the CPU, but everything else is the same. You can actually step this up even further and get a used or open box Apex Encore, which these motherboards go around from $500 all the way to $600, depending on who you're buying from. And the reason for these motherboards are not included in these PC part because because you cannot buy them new in North America. If you're in EU, you could buy these motherboards and get 32 gigabytes of 8200 megahertz, and you could just eat that instead of this build. However, for us in North America, the best motherboard is going to be the Asus C790i Lightning. Anything else is unavailable, sadly, or it's just not good enough as this motherboard. So, looking for the best of the best, you would look for Apex Encore, and then just pair that with 32 gigabytes of 8200 megahertz CL38 M sticks. But that's going to be pretty much the best builds right there. There's not much else to say again i didn't include some of the cpus that are completely useless to use so some of the cpus that you should be avoiding are the new intel core ultras those are very problematic they have a lot of issues right from the box and in terms of performance they're in fact worse than this generation or require insane tuning in order to get the same exact performance or slightly better so it's a complete waste of time and a complete waste of money to go intel core ultra the second thing is ryzen nines if you're a gamer ryzen nines are not in your favor these are high latency processes Processors. They have dual CCDs, which means that there is CCX intro core latency. And basically what that means is there's more delay just because you have more cores DPU. So Ryzen 9s are not gamer friendly. What I'd recommend is just stay away from those at whatever cost. If you do end up getting an X3D 7950X3D or a 9950X3D, you do have to disable the second group of cores. If you want to be smart, just don't even buy them in the first place. Stick to these CPUs that I've shown in this video, which are going to be the 7800X3D, i7 14th or 13th gen, i9. 14th gen and the 9800 x3d but other than that guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you do end up buying one of these builds then comment down below and if you do end up getting intel make sure to get it tuned if you're not gonna get it tuned then it's probably not a good idea for you to go to intel just because intel excels with tuning and overclocking whilst the amd is just good right off the box and that's probably the benefit of amd but intel does have better minimum fps and one percent lows and for esports i'd recommend intel over amd just because intel is a monolithic architecture which is lower latency compared to the chiplet architecture and now you can argue with me all day on this but facts are facts monolithic is way better than chiplet architecture i'm gonna let you guys pick the options down below i'm gonna leave all these pc part pickers linked in the description but if you guys are interested in getting your current pc optimized and you just want to get more fps and lower delay then go to the first link in the description and book a pc optimization service with me peace out guys